My name is Lisiko Siokeza, also known as Azania Forest. I'm a visual artist, uh, mainly working in photography and painting. And I am the recipient of the Bubblegum Residency. So in this body of work, I am looking at the topic of rest because um, obviously in our daily lives we are on the move. We wake up, we go to work and finding rest becomes a luxury. So I'm actually looking for solutions. How do we find rest while we're still in movement? And how do we attain a sense of stillness whilst you know everything around us is chaotic? I'm really going into that and unpacking that through even our identities, uh, being a black woman and growing up in a black family, what that means for me and my family. It started with that, I was looking at my mom. I was like, I'm probably gonna end up like that. I'm probably gonna have a job because my, both my parents need to have a job to sustain the household. But for my mom, you know, the, the gender aspect goes even further because she had to carry a child. Firstly, that's labor, but she's still going to work. It's like an added layer of labor that I feel black men don't experience and I'm not even sure that they have the empathy for it. So um, I think, yeah, the adding the, the layer of gender and, you know, that kind of identity into rest also adds to that. The work, like, it started very, like, obviously with the simple concept of rest, but I think, you know, it, as I was creating, it expanded from that, like, I, it became layered. With this, there's so many symbols, I could say, you know, water especially. I was thinking of um, the womb, firstly. I was also thinking of, like, um, how water is used in baptism, how it cleanses, you know, but at the same time it's still powerful in that sense. How it surrenders, but it doesn't mean the dignity is, is no longer there. I used ifuta, like um, imbola, it's ochre. Um, usually it's the boys that go to the mountain. Kosap was the initiation that wear it and then after they wash it, you know, they become men. When I bought it, I asked the ladies who sell, I was like, what do they use this for? And she told me that some people use it so that they can get dreams. So they'll burn um, incense in Pepo and everything and put it on their bodies. Um, and obviously talk to ancestors and everything. But after they wash it off, that's when they, it's like they get dreams and they get clarity on what's happening in their lives. I felt the same. I was like, you know what? I really, I want answers. I want clarity and I want, I want to heal. I want to come out of the other side knowing what step to take next, how to incorporate rest into my life from an inner knowing. As I'm wearing that, for me, it's really the initiation of moving from a place of not knowing to enlightenment. To be in a restful state as I'm existing, not as a moment or, or I'm meditating for today and then it's over, but as, as a principle of life.